I'm so enjoying boy watching The Crown. Did you finish all, all yeah, of it? Yeah, I've seen I've all. I've got a couple left. I loved this season, and I just... Full day yesterday. <laughs> I'm telling I don't you. know how you find Lotusing, the time. Lotusing, crowning. I lotused, I crowned. <laughs> Ouch. I crowned <laughs> twice yesterday. And Damn. I lotused, I crowned, I pickled all mm-hmm. night long. I'm on a... I'm firing on all cylinders today. You, you, you think it. you don't have a wonderful life. <laughs> it, is a, it is a wonderful life. Here's the thing. I had forgotten about this. There's an episode about Charles. While still married to Diana, he was on a telephone call on the telly, as they say. Married but separated. Was he separated at this? No. If it was this season. He's married. He, he was married at this point because they go back in time and show it. Oh, okay. He's mad. The Royals is feuding. <laughs> <laughs> the Queenies is mad. I'm almost positive okay. that he was married at the time. Are you sure? <laughs> he's married. And he's talking with Camilla. And I'd forgotten all about this. His but, once in future love. Yes. I mean, they honestly, they, took, they had an affair almost the entire time he was married to Diana. So he's on the phone with her on the telly. And he says he's going over a speech about English. He's like, I want you to hear my speech and see what you think about it. And he's about it's about language. And uh, so somehow he says something about rubbing over something. She said, well, you're very good at rubbing over things, aren't you? And they start. Randy. Well, and then it came back to me that this had become news. A ham radio operator just happened to pick up on their conversation. He wasn't trying to. Just some regular guy picked up on their conversation. And he, and this that's true. And, and my wife said that, I that thought is, those were like landlines. They were. I mean, but, ham radio. I thought it was well, whatever kind of. He was able to for whatever reason. Huh. He got their conversation, and he heard them say for they were on for like several minutes. And he said, oh, "I'd like to be in your private parts all the time." And she said, "Oh, I'd like you there." He goes, "I wish I was a tampon. I wish I was a tampex." <laughs> oh, and I'd be I remember that. Remember that? And, no, and, I remember it. And he said, oh, "I want to be with you, rubbing on you all the time." <laughs> and they went back and forth like that. Well, interestingly, the guy who intercepted it went right to the tabloids. Oh yeah, and said, "I want to sell this." And the tabloids bought it from him. Here's how I know they were still married. And the tabloid said, but we're not, we're going to buy it from you, but we're not going to put it out because we don't want to destroy the royal marriage. Then when they separated three years later, they put, okay. it, out, they put it out there. Right. They, it they put it out there. And then everybody read it, like a transcript in the paper. And he's like, I wish I was a Tampex up your, up your <laughs> vagina. Including the queen. Oh. Yeah. And the queen oh. was sitting there reading. And Prince Philip's sitting there reading it, you know. And he looks over at Charles. He's like, why are you still here? Get out of my sight. <laughs> Yeah, I remember all that. Yeah, I, it's flooding back now. That's yeah. just one of the, the the worst slide into DMs ever. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think that guy from Maroon Five was sick? Oh yeah. yeah. Who says that? I don't who, know. Oh, I wish it was a Tempex and it'd come back. He's like, I should die and come back as a Tempex and be up your. Tw- uh. <laughs> just awful. I mean, it's just so as when these awful two, you said that Charles and Camilla carried on an affair. Mm. Fairly regularly, yeah. even during the marriage from Charles and Diana. Yeah. Where? Do they sneak the woman onto the grounds, or did he yeah. sneak off to a... Well, there were long breaks in there, I think, at times, like when they would go... When they went on their honeymoon, of course, they didn't see each other, but, but they still talked on the phone mm-hmm. almost weekly, I think. And they did have a long affair. Physical affair? But, yes, but they didn't say they didn't show it. On, on the crown, they don't show. But no. they did have a physical affair, because Diana... I'll tell you another interesting part of the crown. Now, we're all in the British now, but um, Martin Bashir, she did a really tell-all interview after they had separated and said, here's my side of the story. It's a famous quote. She says, well, there was like three of us in the marriage. Remember that? That was a famous quote. That, yeah. Let me tell you this. And, uh, me, her, and Mr. Tempax. <laughs> <laughs> gross. <laughs> Biggie's right. <laughs> it was gross. And by the way, that was only a couple of years on the heels of Andrew's wife, Fergie, saying, "Oh, I love to get my toes sucked." That's my thing. You know, she like that was her I thing. She, she, like, was her, 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 she was a yeah, toe sucker. She, yeah, or she liked them sucked. Shrimping, shrimping. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, listen to how Bashir got that interview. Okay, uh, Martin Bashir, the journalist, the journalist who worked for the BBC. And also has done work for ABC here. He's done a lot of prominent interviews. Yes. At that time, he was young and not as well known. And he was talking to his boss, and everybody wanted to interview Diana. Especially the Americans. Yes. Oprah, as they mentioned, Diane Sawyer, they all want the her. networks. And she, they were like, she's going to get Big an interview. Barbara Walters. Yeah. Barbara Walters, they mentioned her. Mm-hmm. And they say, we need to get this interview. 
And Martin Bashir says, I think I know how I can get it. Martin Bashir forged and faked documents, making it look like that Diana's inner circle was leaking stuff to the tabloids. And he took it to her brother. There were banks. He made up bank statements. Bank statements. Saying, look. Yeah. Your, your assistant is getting paid. Yeah, to, oh. to talk to the tabloids. And first he went to Diana's brother, and he said, they're being paid to talk about you. And he goes, I think it might they might be talking about Diana, too. And then, he sa- and then they meet again through the brother, and he said, I did some more research, and it looks like they are. And he had f- literally forged documents, uh, bank statements, mm-hmm. saying that like her inner circle had been paid and his inner circle had been paid. And so they get together for the meeting, and she says, what are we going to do to fight this? And he says, I think you should tell your side of the story. I think you should get it out there and do an interview. And he's, of course, we'd be glad to do it, but you have your... Mm. And so he built trust from her. Well, as the interview got closer, the brother said to her, I I don't know that we can trust Martin Bashir, but he had built up so much trust with her that with Diana, Diana, she did the interview, and it was a bombshell interview. Mm -hmm. Well, because of that interview... She lost her protection. The queen took away, once they divorced and everything, and uh, everybody says it's because of the interview, the queen took away her protection, and Prince William blames that interview and then the protection being taken away on her being killed by Mm. the paparazzi Mm -hmm. chasing her. It was a crazy thing. I mean, that was a really interesting episode. And Bashir, I mean, if he did that, and apparently he did, Mm -hmm. that's really dirty. Well, and she was suspicious already because every time she got on the phone with anybody, Diana, there was clicking on the phone and clicking. She's like, I know they're bugging me, and I know they're spying on me, and I know they're following me, But the the royal family. But they really weren't. They they weren't doing that stuff. And uh, at least not— Well— it's never been proven that they did anything, and they certainly weren't leaking stuff. Her inner circle was not leaking stuff to the tabloids. She thought they were because of Bashir. And it makes you wonder if she wasn't a little paranoid. Yeah, I think she was. It was really interesting mm. to see that. I'll, I'll tell you, it really was. They drove her crazy. <laughs> yeah. The royal family. There's another, uh, listen to this controversy here. Now, you you tell me if you think who's in the right here. There's a country singer named Jesse James Decker. I don't think she's a... Uh, Huge star. She has one song that I found. You know this. You know this song? She's married. I hear a jet ski hitting the water. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere a jet ski just eased into a lake. Well, I like it. I do like it now. Pontoons passing in the, in the dusk. Listen. It's a white claw opening. <laughs> I do like this song. This is Jesse James Decker. Decker. She's married to a former football player named Eric Decker. He played for the, uh, he's a receiver for the Broncos and Jets. So she has been criticized because she put a picture on her Instagram of her three children, age eight and younger. And they, at least two of them have abs, like defined abs. And a lot of people are saying, how dare you Photoshop your kids to make them look like they have abs. And so everybody was saying, oh, it's terrible. You Photoshop this. And she came back and said, I didn't Photoshop that. That's what they look like. They have actual abs. And here comes another wave. Exactly. <laughs> what are you doing to your kids? What are you yeah. doing? That's right. They're like, what are you, are you not feeding them? Yeah. What are you doing to your kids? You're making them run yeah. 10 miles a day? Yeah. And uh, now she is gorgeous. Yeah. And her husband is known for being like model good looking. Yeah. You know, and so she's like, you know, she's, they got our genes and they love to exercise. And what am I supposed to do? They've got abs. Hmm. And then she wrote back, and I tend to agree with this. She's like, how has it become wrong for people, children, to look like they're supposed to look? I mean, these are children that are exactly where they're supposed to be with height and weight and everything. And they, you see their look muscles. Six you packs? Packs? you, you do don't that. see rippling abs on a lot of six-year-olds. Well, you know, I saw the photo. I wouldn't say they were rippling. One of them, you can, I mean, they're defined, but I wouldn't say they look like, you know, a bodybuilder or anything. They're just, I mean, they just look. They look def- like skinny def- kids. They look like skinny, yeah. uh, fairly normal kids, don't yeah, you think? I, I look at it, I'm looking at it right here. Mm-hmm. They, they don't look, Yeah. They, they don't look off to me. 
Now, if she, first of all, if she had painted them on there, I think, well, that's wrong. Oh, of course. Not. But she didn't. She just said she didn't. She's like, one's into gymnastics, one loves football, and one dances. And so that's just what they look like. You know, I can't help what they look like. But but little kids tend not to have that sort of it's true. structure, regardless of, of what they do. I, I, I was surprised that they that they looked like that. Now, I mean, of course, you're going to have it. But for three siblings in the same family... To me, it was especially one. Uh, the boy had his shirt yeah, off, and the, he has abs. The older, the older boy yeah. is the one that really looks like he has abs. Mm. The girl just looks skinny to me, and the other, the third, doesn't look like he just looks like a kind of a kid. Mm. You know, I went to the gym once in Myrtle Beach. Nice. The picture of Jesse James Zephyr's kids. <laughs> so help me. There was. <laughs> Ah, this takes me back to the lake now. <laughs> anyway, I was at the gym in Myrtle Beach. And now here, same company, but different ownership group, I guess. Same gym. And here, they don't allow you to work out there until you're 14. But when I was in Myrtle Beach, there was a woman in there with her daughter, and the daughter was 10. And we were all in the lobby before the class started. And the daughter was, I mean, she was cut at age 10. And one person said, you know, I think it's great you've got her in here. And she said, well, you know, my son plays football and my other daughter's into gymnastics. And my daughter here didn't really have anything like that. And I said, well, you've got to do something. You need to get, you know, I want you to do something active. So she comes with me to the gym. And I watched that girl. She's 10. And she was lifting weights. And, I mean, she looked like a little miniature bodybuilder. I didn't have too much of a problem with it. Yeah, you know, I thought okay. If you want, if that's, I mean, it's 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 good physical fitness, you know, even though it's early. Yeah, I mean, I just okay need to be with careful it. with the kids with weights and stuff. Yeah, and well, guess. I mean, she I don't was, know what a doctor would say. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I, it seemed like this woman. And by the way, this woman was cut. I mean, she looked good. All right. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm, I'm not looking at. Uh, of course you're not. Which, uh, which you beach you gonna set up on? <laughs> <right? laughs> you're gonna. Y'all live here? I'm over by Ocean Annie. So I don't know about you. <laughs> Pretty good beach over there. <laughs> Just look for the red umbrella at Ocean Annie's. <laughs> Blogger Jen, you're talking about kids. Now, you have a lot of kids. Talk to us about their abs. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, my kids are just starting to develop abs because they swim on the swim team and um, starting to do, like, winter sports and stuff, soccer and uh, wrestling. They're starting tonight. But anyways, my nephew, he was three years old, and I have a picture of him. He had broken his femur because he was – um, a wild man, and he jumped off of a climbing structure. Anyways, he didn't have a shirt on, and he had a six pack at three. Wow, wow! Do you think that's there's <laughs> nothing? But that, to me, there's nothing wrong with that's it. Just genetics. how you look, you know, it's just genetics. No, right? yeah. no, he's yeah. just really active, and he just always is is moving, just always moving. And so, yeah, he's mm -hmm. fit. <laughs> and how old are your kids now that are developing the abs? Um, the six or seven. Or the seven and eight year, they're seven and eight now. Um, the five year old, not so much. Right. Still got the you know round round kid belly, but oh yeah, the mm -hmm. seven and eight year olds are starting to get abs. Well, this lady here says this is just what they are. You know, I, I can't help it. This is this. They eat right. They exercise. They're into gymnastics and so forth, and that's just it. How's the best way to formulate a six pack though? Because remember, you're talking to me. So it, is it from sit ups and and crunches? Well, you, let me tell you what they say at my gym. Abs are made in the kitchen. You know, it's what you eat. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Blogger. But, I mean, you've got to get them. Uh, how do you tighten them up? I mean, I understand the food. I say probably crunches, don't you think? I would guess. I mean, you don't lift anything with your gut, do you? No. It's, mm -hmm. it's, so it's, it's not weights. It's crunches, and there are many different ones you can do to a lot of get kids, a six-pack. You know, a lot of kids are on the on the ground and mm -hmm. getting up all the time and flipping around stuff, so that could be it. Well, I think mostly with kids, though, it's just they have very little body fat. Well, there's you know? that, too. And it's just so it just you see their Some muscles. Some until... fewer than others, especially if that mom, yeah. if the country mama. Yeah. If country mama eating right. What do a country mama feeds them? Well, there's another good question. Well, they probably eat what they eat I mean, if they're both fit. Yeah, trust me, this ain't a normal country mama. <laughs> She's looking pretty good. She is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta check her out. Oh, oh was yeah. it Jesse Jane? Yeah, Jesse this Jane Decker. Oh, Jesse this isn't your normal. Yeah. Like, Come on down the kitchen, kids. <laughs> <laughs> we're, no, we're not looking at a Paula Dean. No. no mac and cheese in their no, house. No, I think they. Pro and her husband is very into nutrition. I think he has like his own fitness now that he's past football. You know, he's into fitness and nutrition, so they probably have really good nutrition in the house. Uh, D, you're talking about kids and abs. Go ahead. What's up, guys? It's D, your number one black P1 listening itself for Jane. A pleasure, hey, as always, D. Okay, my daughter is 14 now, but she's been doing gymnastics since she was two. Mm -hmm. And her body, 
her thighs, her shoulders, her arms are so muscular and built, you just wouldn't believe it. I'm not surprised by age 13, 14. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not surprised. You, you know? could always tell, even in my day, you could tell, especially when someone was a swimmer, mm -hmm. because they had such big shoulders. Yeah, you I mean, Swimmers tell. had bigger shoulders. That's but right. It, you know, occasionally you'd see some like genetic fluke who had really good abs. Uh, Most of the time, the people in my day, in my day were just kind of smooth. Yeah, you didn't see many abs back when I was younger. You didn't see that. But now I think people, I mean, they work on yeah. those. You know, you're either try. really, really fit or you're really, really the other way. That's right. Decker's your last name? Yes. <laughs> CK. <laughs> Jesus, God. Thank you, D. I appreciate it. Jesse James are you going through? I don't uh, know, but she's, wow. Yeah, she's not running downstairs with an apple pie. No. <laughs> she's a health nut. I mean, yeah. she, she's written a, she's got a New York Times bestseller on yeah. health. On, on health. Eating. That's probably why our kids are so defined, yeah. you know. Uh, oh, you what? think they ever sneak, uh, like, donuts at night? I don't know. You know, uh, kids. They will. It, well, it kind of depends on how you grow up. You know, if you're if you're fed all that stuff from the beginning, like the really good healthy stuff, sometimes you don't even want that, you know, I think. Of course, we always had snacks and stuff in the house. Mm -hmm. and soda. Coda, you're talking about getting abs. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Steve one from day one. Uh, I was a wrestler in high school, uh, state champ, all that, so I was in the fitness. Uh, the only way to really have abs, like, you can do your crunches and your ab building exercises and all that to really define them, but the only way to actually have them and show them is your body fat percentage. So, yeah. like y'all said, it's made in the future. It's what you eat. It's just how active you are. Yes. So, What percentage body fat do you think you need? How low do you have to go to you people see the abs? It's different for everybody, especially, you know, it does help if they're built and defined so you don't have to be as lean. Um, I mean, I was the 119-pound weight class down as low as you can go, like 7%. But uh, it, it really depends. But it's, generally, it's under the 10% range. Yeah. I have pictures of abs in my phone. Yeah. And they You're not going to put Jesse James Decker in your phone, are you? That's <laughs> the saddest statement of the day. <laughs> I told you that. I told you yeah, that. but it's still sad. Yeah, yeah I mean, it doesn't make it unsad. It's because... But it makes like, it more normal if it is a female's like abs you know, and not... These are male men's abs. Because yeah, that's this what is I'm what I'm yeah. And they show a guy at 20% where you see no abs. That's what I look like. I mean, it's just like, bleh, mm -hmm, there it is. Mm -hmm. At 15, you can start... Just, I mean, just not really. You just look thin. You look, you look okay. Smooth. Now, down to 10, you start to see the app. And then you get down to like 7 or 8, mm -hmm. that's when you're like, you know. That's where you want to be. You're cut. I would take a 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. I, I, a For 10 how to, long? How long do you, if even, let's say, mm -hmm. you devote your life to this. You give up pickleball, you give up radio, you devote your life to right. getting this shit. How long could you sustain that? Well, I don't know. I mean. A month? No, I think, well, it depends. It all depends on what you eat. How long can you sustain? I know, sustain but how long could you deprive yourself of stuff you really like? Difficult for me. Because, you know, for me, it's one bite of something that I really like, and then I'm back on it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just how I am. Mm -hmm. It'd be very difficult to get it. Maybe I should make a proclamation. By this time next year, I'm going to show my abs, mm -hmm. and I want to have actual defined abs. Yeah. You go on Thanksgiving trip with Jesse James Decker and her kids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wherever they went, the Maldives. Yes. yes. And this time next year... Make a note of it. Put it in an envelope. Envelope it. Envelope it for one year from today. I'm going to have a picture taken of my abs. Do you think it would be easier with the abs and be fitter? And this is maybe a bad question to ask. Mm -hmm. But do you think you would be more fit? You'd have more of an ab and a six-pack mm -hmm. if you didn't have kids and a wife that were there that had to eat and you had to sustain them. Oh, yeah, no question about it. There's, it's all about, because I eat the same thing they eat, and we're always, you know, want to order pizza on Friday night? Sure. Yeah. You, I, if you really want abs, I believe. You Be single. You, you, well, <laughs> <laughs> never have a family. Well, I think Don't you experience have, yeah. love. You just have Remember to what's important. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what's more important? You. Your heart or Instagram. your heart? Yeah. I just think you have to eat lean meats and vegetables, basically, to, to really have abs. That's Don't you so, think? I guess. Yeah. That's no fun. Oh, of course not. Of course it's no fun. I want to live my life. It's no fun. Of course. I want to live to be 90. You're right. I, I mean, all that is true, but it's, uh, I mean, if you wanted to be, if you really wanted abs like these bodybuilders have i think you have to eat that way yeah she's i mean i was Very looking gorgeous. at her closely and uh she's a she's a bot she's a fit yes, person yes yes it goes beyond that i don't know how she got into into making music but that almost seems like a sideline yeah yeah she, she and her husband are all into fitness like that that song's good though oh i agree I, <laughs> <laughs> come on I mean, bitch. I mean, I mean, right that's your takeaway he's right yeah 
She's a great mom and a great singer. Absolutely. 